Hello, it's Ashley with At Home with Ashley and this week's project is we're adding shade to my pergola because it's so hot out there without anything and I thought why not make it rainbow. So make sure to watch the end to see how it turns out and like and subscribe if you do like it. Here's my pergola before. Super cute but just lacking some shade. Let's fix it. Start by trimming the canvas drop cloth down to size. I knew I needed eight strips that are 16 inches wide. So I cut each drop cloth into two 17 and a half inch wide pieces. This gives me an inch and a half for seam allowance. To cut this size the right width and in a straight line, I use a measuring stick and from the side marked 17 and a half inches over every few feet. Then I joined the line with my straight edge and cut down the line. Using a mat and a rotary cutter would have been easier. For the length, I figured I'd do one and a half times the size of the pergola, so there's extra fabric for draping. My pergola is 10 feet long. I brought the 15 feet long drop cloth since they're the perfect length for what I'm thinking. Next, it's time to hem the one cut side. To do this, I began by ironing the hem. First, I used a sewing gauge ruler to make sure I was folding over the fabric 3 4 inches over. Then I ironed the whole length with a 3 4 inch hem. When I got to the end, I folded over the fabric again and ironed it again. This made it so I had a nice folded edge, no fraying ends. And I still didn't have to use pins when sewing. I'm not a fan of pins. Maybe I'm too lazy, but I don't find them necessary when ironing. Once all eight pieces are cut and ironed, it's time to sew. I set up my sewing machine on my table and stitched all 120 feet of strips. It was just a straight line, easy peasy. It probably took an hour and a half because of the length, but it was simple. And now it's time to dye the shades. To prep for this, I got one shade at a time wet. By having the shade wet first, it helps ensure even dyeing and that the dye is accepted. I also got rubber gloves so I didn't dye my hands. Plastic bins or buckets. I had four on hand. One will do though. The eight colors of dye and something to stir with. Each of my shades weighed one pound. I measured it by stepping on a weight and off without the shade. For these steps, I followed rich dye's directions and you need to know the weight for that. I used half bottle of dye and one gallon of water. The canvas drop cloths are made mostly of cotton but do have some polyester in them. Because they have some synthetic materials in them, they won't take dye as easily, so I wanted to make sure to use really hot water to ensure the shades accepted the dye. To do this, I heated up water until boiling on the stove top. When the water came to boiling, I measured out one gallon into the plastic bin. Luckily, the plastic bin held up to the boiling water. Next, I added half a bottle of dye. Last, I put the wet shade into the water. The first 10 minutes of dyeing are the most important. Stir well for the whole 10 minutes, especially when dyeing a long piece of fabric like this. As time went on, I got a little lazy with stirring and my last shades are a little more splotchy than the first ones. I left the fabric in the dye bath for 30 minutes, which is recommended for a polyester blend. Note fabrics will look darker when wet. Repeat the dyeing for each shade. Have a few bent, Having a few bins was helpful so I could dye a few shades at a time. After 30 minutes, I rinsed the shade in cool water until the water ran clear. This helps set the color. I wrung out the shades and last I washed the shades in my washing machine with detergent on a quick wash. At first I washed several, um, one color at a time and then I just threw them all in together. They didn't bleed so that worked great. Next I want to add some scotch guard to my shades to help waterproof them. I sprayed one side, misted it with water which the direction said to do in low humidity areas, let it dry, and then repeat it on the other side. For this project I used one and a half bottles of the scotch guard on all sides. Once the shades dried, I draped the fabric over one beam and under the next one. For each shade, I alternated the order so the shades varied when they dipped down. To attach the fabric to the pergola, I bought snaps that have screws on the back end. To install the snaps, first we drilled a pilot hole through the fabric and the wood. This made it so they lined up. Then we drilled the back of the snaps into the pergola. The snap kit comes with a rod so you can hammer the two pieces of the top snap together on either side of the fabric. Now all you have to do is snap the fabric onto the hardware on the pergola. This way, at the end of the season, I can unsnap the fabric and fold it up for winter. Here's how my rainbow shades turned out.